Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got for you an exciting first impression on the new Rimmel Kate Red vs Nudes Limited Edition Rose Gold Lipstick Collection. So first of all, I'm going to start with the price of these. I've just tweeted Rimmel actually because I've got conflicting prices on different websites but as far as I can see in the shops these retail for $6.49 each. The collection comes in six shades so three reds and three nudes and at the moment boots have a buy one get one and a half price on Rimmel products and Superdrug have three for two across all makeup. So definitely take advantage of this offer if you do want to snap up the whole collection because it is limited edition. So packaging wise I absolutely love these. I've never seen such beautiful rose gold packaging. They're just absolutely stunning and like I said they are limited edition so if you are a lover of rose gold definitely go and check them out. So with regards to the colours I think that the three reds and three nudes is fantastic to have in a collection. They're all really wearable shades and I'm just going to go through with you each colour. So starting with the reds we have um, retro red that's a lovely deep burgundy red. Then we have the iconic I would say Kate shade and this is Muse red. It's a lovely pillar box red. And then last from the reds is Idol red. So this is more of an orange red. Then on to the nudes, so we have a boho nude that's got a lot of brown in it, so it's quite caramel in shade. Then we have my nude, which is a lovely sort of universal nude, very wearable on all skin tones. Then we have a rock and roll nude that is the lightest nude of the pack and this is beautiful as well. So now I'm going to insert all the shades um, on my lips and also insert pictures and swatches so you can see each colour in action.
So today I'm going to be testing out the longevity of these lipsticks and I'm just going to put one to the test obviously because I can't wear all of them at once and I'm actually going to try one of the nudes because I feel that people will probably lean more towards the nude shades and buying them. So I'm going to try out Boho Nude which is the deepest nude of the collection. This is quite brownie. Um, these as well, to me they smell like marshmallows, they're quite sweet smelling but I'd say they're not as overpowering as some of the other lipsticks that can smell quite soapy as well. So I'm going to pop this on. So first impressions, as you can see, this is a real caramel nude. They're really um, soft and they glide on beautifully and they're also lovely and pigmented. They're quite um, slippy on the lips, so we'll see how that goes with regards to longevity. So if you haven't seen one of my first impression videos before, I do two more check-ins after this one to let you know how the product has worn. And then at the end of the night, I'll give you my overall thoughts and a score out of five as well. So the time now is nearly 12, so it's 11.58. So I will check back in a couple of hours, guys. See you later, bye. Hi guys, welcome back for the second check-in. It is now 5.38. So I've gone throughout my day, I've had lunch and a snack since I last saw you and after I had my lunch I'd say most of the lipstick went in the center of my lip but I still had a little bit round the edge and then after my snack um, it faded a bit more and I can see the color still there but only slightly sort of around the lips. I'll insert a photo as well so you can see. So I'm actually going to reapply this lipstick as if I was going out at night just so you can get a feel for it if you were wearing it during the day and you did want to reapply it if you're going out for drinks or something like that. So I am going to put a second layer on. Okay, so this is the second layer, so I'm going to wear this into the night and I'll check back in with you one more time and give you my overall thoughts and a score out of five. See you later guys, bye! Hi guys, welcome back for the last time. It is now just gone quarter past 10. So I'm gonna give you my overall thoughts on these lipsticks. So we may as well start off with longevity. I have had dinner and a snack since I last spoke to you. And yes, this lipstick has come off again, but it is still slightly visible again as well around the edge of my lips. So I will insert a photo so you can see that. But I think because of the consistency these are really um, quite a shiny finish and they are a little bit slippery on the lips that really to me is why they did come off so if you are going out at night or you're wanting to wear this during the day I would recommend taking it with you for on the go touch ups so the price of these, um, Rimmel never got back to me on my tweet, but if they do, I will pop the price if it has changed from what I said in my blog post, because there will be an according blog post for these as well. But for me, the price, um, I think I said $6.49, I think that's a really affordable price for a limited edition rose gold lipstick. I love the um, selection of colours, the reds and the nudes, they're really wearable. The packaging is absolutely beautiful, so definitely snap these up if you are interested, especially with the offers on um, in Boots and Superdrug at the moment. And for me, I just think they were a winner. I do um, really take into account longevity is a big thing. 
But lipsticks anyway don't tend to stay on unless they're sort of a stain or a liquid lipstick and things like that. I did swatch the red ones on my arm and I must admit they did stain a little bit on my arm. So I think they would probably be a little bit more long wearing. But overall I did love these lipsticks and I would award them a 4.8 out of 5. So if you want to see a more in-depth review with photos and swatches, definitely go and check out my blog as well. But I hope you found this useful. If you are interested in buying these, definitely get them now. I'm not sure how long they're limited edition for. And thank you so much for watching again, guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you do like these first impression videos and if they help you out as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter and Snapchat for more inspiration. And if you missed my last two previous videos, you can go ahead and click on the picture links and that will take you to that video. Have a wonderful rest of the week, guys, and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care. Bye.